hi guys and welcome to unity tutorial uh, this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use the new unity starter asset the whole asset was actually downloaded from the asset store so I'm going to show you guys how to download it and uh, where to get the asset store and so on but for now let's just go into unity and we start a new project together as you can see you can even enhance it do whatever you like with it like i have just added or created some trees and added some boxes there as you can see the camera is actually following it around to wherever it goes so let's go into unity now and have a go at it okay guys i'm gonna start a new project entirely i'm just gonna call it third person there we go i'm now going to click on create okay guys my development environment is ready to get hold of this tata asset i'm going to go straight into window menu here and let's select asset store in the asset store the reason why i'm showing you guys that is you can always search for that for those of you that don't have an account so make sure you create your own account without your account you won't be able to get the asset straight into your own asset so all you then need to do here is just need to add start add starter asset and once the starter asset open up that is it right here you can either download this very one and that is for the third person or you can download first person starter assets here this very one here is actually free once you click on it you'll be asked to upload it into your own asset or if you want unity to open it up so i have already added it straight onto my own asset so i'm going to go straight into windows here and let's select package manager inside my package manager all i need to do is drop this down and select my asset there we go once my asset opens up you either you can search for it starter asset and that is it right there okay if you don't want to search for it you can just scroll down and look for it so that is the starter assets there Okay, if you don't want to search for it like i said just click on go right down and you should be able to see it somewhere here and there it is somewhere i'm not going to be using the first person i'm going to be using the third person okay then you just need to click on import and then click on import again there we go okay guys at one point this message this warning message will pop up saying this project is using the new input system package but the native platform back end of the new input system are not enabled in the player setting this means that no input from the native device will come true so all you then need to do is just click on yes and the system will continue importing or downloading the the starter asset and that's the starter asset the system will officially reboot itself and the choice is yours if you also want to download the first person starter right here starter asset for the first person the choice is yours if you want to download that but i'm not going to do that for now so let's exit out and right click and close this asset store close now back in here okay with this third person controller itself we have a device there called the playground i think we can find that inside the scene here double click on that then there we go that is the playground so if i double click on that this is what you guys will see there we go that is the third person playground environment so let's run this and see how that looks like for now there there we go 
and that is it look at the environment one good thing about it is we can just start working right away we can increase the speed of this mannequin and do whatever we like with it that's one very good thing about this project and that is it working okay I will show you guys how to increase the speed at which it works there we go look at it going up the stairs as well right and there uh, more stairs there more stairs to go through and you can even jump all the way from these stairs down now let's stop the demonstration I'm going to end this right there. I just want to come in here you see that is the player mannequin there so we can even come down here to the inspector and just increase the speed at which it works look at it right there so if let's assume I make that 20 instead of 2 and click on run or play the game I mean so you see how fast it's gonna work now look at that you see as you can see it cannot go through the wall because collider added to it all right let's let's bring it back home there so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to enhance the whole appearance of this player ground and before then I will reduce the speed to 2 to enhance the appearance of the player ground what I'll do is I'm just gonna come right here you see inside my hierarchy right click on the hierarchy and let's select Oh, we need trees oh before that let me get hold of some uh, some asset I'm gonna need leaves back and um, I also we also like to change the sky so I'm gonna need some other asset let's go back in here I'm gonna go to Windows and right here select package manager and what I'm now looking for is the all sky box I already have that so there we go that is it right there all sky free so I'm going to download that and get back to you guys okay guys I have finished the I'm finished importing the asset that I need all sky free is right there and the leaves and the back of the tree so with the all sky free that's very easy we can even take care of that right now so let's go straight into windows and we select what i'm just trying to do with that is to change the background you know to change the sky okay that's what i'm trying to do right now so let's do that so let's go straight to windows and we select rendering in there we select lighting and right here in this dialog box I am going to change it to environment and you see where we have a skybox material I'm going to change that let's click on that and let's look for a very nice sky this looks good and let's see there's more coming out there's another one here there's this one here something let's say epic blue something like that I'm just going to click on that yes yeah, select that that's fine or maybe this let's try this first and see how that's gonna look like if we don't like it we can always change it right I have selected one let's see how that's gonna look like that is it right there okay that is it it's not too bad that's all right anyway but if you want to change it all you just need to do is to go back there and select another one so let's select another one stop running it come right here go to windows again and we just go to rendering lightning and I'm going to grab hold of this one yeah look at that that looks much better to me that looks much better I like that okay the next thing we want to do now is let's add some trees all right to add these trees what we need to do is i'm going to right click on the hierarchy here and let's select 
3D and right there that's the tree click on tree and the tree there we go the tree is there somewhere okay so that is the tree there so let's zoom a little bit so that we can see the tree that is it I'm just going to push it out okay so let's do one thing here okay here those are the properties of the trees the choice is yours if you want to increase the size or decrease the size of the tree so you can just do that right away if you want just going to make that 0.5 and 0.5 that is it right there okay so right here make sure the tree is selected and come right here and select branches that's the branch there click on that and that very branch I want to make it let's go for you see the distribution let, first of all let's take care of the frequency the frequency I'm gonna make that about 20 or 22 there yeah, that's the frequency of it now the distribution is showing random I don't want it to be random I'm going to make it world there and you see here growth you can make it angular but look at it it's like 40 45 degrees I don't want that I'm going to use the one that is called six on that is the right there just make that 0 0.3 okay that's the six on so that is fine now the next thing I want to do is you see the the branches I'm now going to come back in here first and first let, let's do this go back in here you see here where I have the branches I'm gonna right click on that and let's first of all create inside the project right click on the projects let's create material and this material I'm gonna call it back alright I have back material there create another material and the second material now I'm going to call that leaves there we go now select the back material go to I'll be the one click on that small icon there and let's select the back that is the back right there so that is fine so that's taken care of now for the leaves go back to albedo click on that make sure the leaves is selected and there and that is the leaf now that is our tree here so make sure the tree is selected we now want to add back so let's go to where we have you no know, geometry right here branch material click on that and let's grab back that is the back of the tree that is taken care of apart from the trunk of the tree let's select the trunk as well and take care of that that's the trunk and there so if I let's make sure it's changed it doesn't change let's see I was meant to accept right here you see you must accept it okay I've accepted one and that is it you can now see the trees I've applied it to the trees you can now see the color of the trees have changed okay now let's do another one for the leaves to add the leaves so we need to select the branches and right there that's the leaves click on the leaf there now we have a couple of leaves in there look at take a look at it take a good look at it I'm going to increase the frequency of that leaves to about 30 there we go now if you look at the leaves just look like just paper so let's select the leaves and come right down here you see where we have the geometry let's select the material the material that I want to select would be that material for leaves that I added earlier on and there we go now it's telling me this material does not use tree shader so I want you to accept it so that the tree shader is used so click on that and that's it tree shader is now used if you come in here now there we go that's our trees okay all I just need to do now is to select the trees and I'm just gonna copy it across so come right here 
just right click and just click on duplicate and just drag our duplicate okay repeat the same thing i'm going to add more duplicate to it select that duplicate again let's drag let's create another duplicate here to the side here right click duplicate and just drag okay right click on those drag as well there we go so if i run it now this is how it's going to look like so the whole idea is you can enhance the look of the starter asset okay so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed and please do subscribe to my channel there's going to be more tutorial on unity and you all have a nice day now um, bye for now